Hello! Um, I'm just updating because it's Friday afternoon and I have a minute to do a video. Um, I'm going to go running this evening, hopefully. My energy is very low today, but I just got up like two hours ago. <laughs> got up late today. Um, and I hope to go running this evening before I go to Sean's. I usually go to my boyfriend's for the weekend. I leave Friday and get home like Sunday night or Monday morning. Um, so I thought that I'd just tell you now that I'm running, because I probably won't do videos over the weekend when I'm with him. I would prefer to do videos when I'm alone, <laughs> but I also just usually don't have the time. My weekends are very full of stuff. So, um, it'd be good. I ate a really big breakfast this morning. I'm trying to eat more in the morning, because my tendency is to eat like 200 calories in the morning and then have a big lunch and then a smaller dinner. But, um... I, and sometimes I split it up over a few meals throughout the day. But anyway, so I, um, I had a bigger breakfast this morning, so I'm trying to make breakfast a bigger meal. I know how important it is to have it first thing in the morning, and uh, so I'm trying to do that. And uh, yesterday I ate a few more calories than I normally do. I had like 1,700, but um, considering that I ran, it's not that bad, plus... I'm supposed to be eating 16 to 1700 a day to maintain or to lose weight one pound a week. So that combined with exercise to keep me on track, even though it was a little bit more. I'd really like to keep it down to like 1400 though. So not horrible, not excellent, but it is my first week. It's only like day five, so <laughs> you know I'll get better at it as I go along. I've done it before. I just you know have to get in the swing of things, and the longer that I go, usually the more serious that I get. So you know whatever. Um, but yeah, I plan to go running this afternoon, probably in like three hours. And then Saturday, I'm going out on a boat, like all day with some friends. And like, I never go out on a boat, never do that. But I'm sure there'll be a lot of junk food and a lot of beer. So I'm going to try to keep my calories in check, which shouldn't be too hard. I'll just have to make sure that I don't eat a whole bunch for breakfast, just have like a good healthy breakfast because I'm sure I'll have some beers and things. And I'm not trying to not have that, I just want to keep my calories under, and like a beer is like 110 to 130 calories, so can't have too many. <laughs> anyway, I just got out of the shower and my hair is like all wet and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say is that, oh also, my pedometer, I keep hitting the button, it's kind of weird, like... Okay, this is the pedometer, and it's on again. Okay, well, anyway, this is reset, and then this button is, like, to jump between the different oops, the different settings right here. And um, it keeps, like, turning off. So I think that the monitor just turns off, but the only way to turn it back on is to hit the reset button. Because if you just hit the, like, on button, it doesn't... I don't know. Anyway, so I think I'll just start wearing it for running as opposed to wearing it every day because I keep resetting it when I'm just doing normal stuff. So I'll put it on when I run or walk just so I know how far I've gone, but I'm not going to wear it every day because um, I keep turning it off, like with my elbow and stuff. And I guess if I got a more expensive one, I, it would have like a protector. That was one thing I read when I was shopping for pedometers. I read like a, I think it was about.com or some website, like a guide to buying pedometers. and. It said make sure to get one that the reset and like off and on buttons are hidden within a flap or like ones you have to press with your thumbnail. Anyway, whatever. It worked when I was running, so I guess that's all that matters. Okay, this video is getting long. Bye. Have a good weekend, everybody.